hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about diffusion current so this is really an important topic guys so you need to know the two terms diffusion and drift current so these are the two important topics you may expect five marks question also guys on these two differences or define them and explain them with a neat diagram you may ask anything like that okay guys so basically now let us go through this topic in this tutorial we'll be going through diffusion and drift current so basically first let us go through drift current guys so okay let us go through diffusion current that will be the easiest one of drift and diffusion diffusion is a familiar word for you guys so basically diffusion the word diffusion you have uh, heard it i think so previously guys so we'll be saying diffusion of a gas or if there is a room like this let us assume this is your classroom so if at one corner you're gonna spray a scent or a spray the smell of that will be reached to the last person sitting in the opposite direction or a diagonal way of it so even he can recognize that there is a scent spread in our class like that how this diffusion works it will be divided uniformly right so that every one of the class will be getting the smell so basically diffusion current is nothing but it is the possible it is possible for an electric current to flow in a semiconductor even in the absence of applied voltage here basically we are not applying any voltage so here let us assume that this is a p type guys so p type will be having the maximum number of holes so let us assume these as our holes here we got six holes so basically these are occupied in this part only on the left part only so due to this diffusion current they will be aligned in a uniform way like this so here we will be not will not give any kind of supply guys even though this happens just because of the diffusion current so basically in terms of theory we can write it if a p type semiconductor is highly doped on one side then the tendency of moving of holes uniformly produces a current called as diffusion current sorry diffusion current yeah so basically this diffusion current will be really 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 less guys the amount number will be really small okay guys so now i hope everyone is now clear with this topic so now let us go through the topic drift current so basically this is something like an opposite for that so in that we didn't give any power supply that is the voltage here we'll be giving a supply guys so when an electric field is applied across the semiconducting material the change the charge carriers attain certain drift velocity vd so the charge carriers in that p type and n type will attain some velocity the holes move towards the negative terminal and electrons move towards the positive terminal the combined effect of movement of charge carriers constitute a current known as drift current that's it guys basically when a p type and an n type are kept together and with a supply guys so if there is a power supply so as the power moves on that is nothing but the voltage which enters the p type pushes the p to move n and similarly in this way also it pushes n to p like that the current required for movement of those things while combining them the combined effect what we called as a drift current so basically there is a formula for holes and electrons guys so i hope everyone can go through the reference of that okay so basically jn that is nothing but the diffusion current in terms of holes is equals to qn nu n e and jp is nothing but qp nu p e so basically n will be the number of electrons p will be the number of holes q will be the charge okay nu n be the nu n be the mobility of mobility of electrons and nu p will be the mobility of holes and e will be the applied voltage and q will be the charge that's it guys so now i hope everyone is now 100% clear with the both the topics of diffusion current and drift current so if you ask me what's the diagram for diffusion drift current you can draw this diagram guys just with the supply and like this arrow marks that will be enough so now i hope everyone is now clear with drift current and diffusion current without any confusion so in the next tutorial we'll be going to some 
theory about pn junction diode guys it's uh, forward bias negative bias will be going through them so let's meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching